Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. Hopefully you can hear me okay. We're going to do a quick audio test here. Get in the comments section and let me know that you can hear me. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. Hello, Erica. Hello, Melody. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Linda. Hello, Jessica. Hello, Rita. Hello, Vicki. Lots of ladies in here tonight. Welcome to the stream. The Daily View on October 4th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do. We're gonna start out here with earthquakes right away. As we do have an earthquake event underway, we have a, we've had a very strong 6.4 earthquake in the Philippines, Sangani. That was off the coast there. No tsunami was reported, but we've also got all these earthquakes going on still in Japan. Just checking out the live stream, make sure everybody can hear me. Audio was okay. All right. Audio coffee, perfect sound. Thank you so much, everybody. And don't forget to smack that like button. Share now with your friends and family as we're going through the world update here live with daily events worldwide. So we also had a very deep earthquake just now in the Tonga region, 5.4, and that was 540 kilometer depth. So the deep earthquakes continue. The 6.4 earthquake that looked like it was about a 200 kilometer depth. Minor activity, Hawaii, lots of activity through Alaska. And speaking of Alaska, quite an SO2 cloud being emitted today. I'm gonna be showing you those visuals here coming up soon. Also, a 5.0 earthquake here off the coast of Greek or Iceland. Actually, that was uh, not off the coast. That was right on Iceland. 5.0 earthquake. We'll get a closer look on USGS exactly where that is. Activity, South America, some deep activity, though, through Chile. 4.7s. Nothing major to report coming across North America. Notable earthquake, though. New Madrid, 2.9. Looks like that could be Tennessee or, yeah, just about there. Maybe Arkansas. But yeah, we're going to have a look here quickly at USGS as they're reporting over 244 earthquakes in the 24-hour period. Last night, we were up in over 230. Right now, we're reporting 244. No major swarms to talk, talk about in North America, but all this activity in Japan, this couple sea mounts look like they maybe they're erupting here. I mean, we've got Nishinashima that's producing massive amounts of volcanic ash and SO2 are into our atmosphere right now. I think there might be more submarine volcanoes along this line getting ready to pop, folks. Stay aware and prepared. 5.4 there. Now the deep earthquake. That was a 5.3 in Lavuka, Fiji, 534 kilometer depth, though. Very deep earthquake. 500 kilometer depth today as well in Huoma, Tonga. This is just USGS. There's also other sources that we use here with daily events worldwide, which also, also show all of the active volcanoes. This is Volcano Discovery. And just looking through the Aleutian chain here, look at that. You got one, two, three, four, Katmai. You've got Shishald interrupting. You've got Makushin volcano erupting. You've got the Great Sitkin volcano erupting. And that is a huge volcano, folks. And then you get to Kamchatka, Shevelich, Bezimiani, Karamiski, Molnovsky. That's a new one. And Ebiko. So look at that, 10 volcanoes in, in a matter of a a 3,000 foot square radius and, uh, or maybe, well, a lot bigger than that, I guess. Well, about the size of North America. So about 5,000 square foot area, we've got 10 volcanoes erupting there. Heads up, stay aware, prepared. Look at the ring of fire folks all around here. All these orange icons and red icons, those are active and or erupting all through Indonesia. Earthquakes are also reported here. Let's 
put it to all magnitude being reported even across the United States here. You can see where, yeah, Tennessee, Tiptonville, that was a 2.9 earthquake. Also West Yellowstone, Montana, reporting a 2.1 earthquake there. Minor average earthquakes through California. But not too much to report. But look at this SO2 that I wanted to share with you guys. This is windy.com. This is a site that everybody is always encouraged to use because it is a great source and it shows all of the low pressure systems, isobars, tight wind or tight isobars, meaning very fast winds. And then we're looking at the SO2 right now. We're looking at 207 milligrams or uh, parts per square meter. Huge low pressure system just south of the Aleutian Islands. Put this into motion. And that is just going to look like turn back into Eastern Russia. And join forces with a huge low pressure system here. As winter is getting ready to set up by Thanksgiving, things are definitely going to be changing across North America and most of the Northern Hemisphere right now as we're going to be going into winter 2023, which should be an interesting, interesting one so far looking at the way things are going. Having a look here at the systems for the next little bit across North America, big low pressure st system coming from Hudson Bay, already fueling down a little bit of flurries there into parts of Northern Alberta, Northern BC. And that's just today and tomorrow. Watch for this system to really drag down some cool temperatures, high pressure ridge coming in from the polar region. That's when things are going to get right chilly through Alberta and northern BC. So, big swing in temperatures here. Quick show. 10, 10 degrees Celsius here in the middle of the United States. And that's for Friday. So, those are some pretty chilly temp temps that are coming down. But looks like parts of northern Alberta and uh, Northwest Territories will still be above seasonal. Above seasonal here on the West Coast, too. But yeah, watch for things to really change up here in the long range forecast. Tropical system moving into the Atlantic provinces. Big low pressure system here with strong winds and a lot of snow heading into Alaska, northern BC, and watch one, two, three, four low pressure systems follow the same line swirling around here in the northeast Pacific. Low pressure system here hanging around Ontario is going to move northward into the Hudson Bay, overlooking Europe. Lots of systems affecting you this week as well. One, two, three. Put that into motion. You have four low pressure systems just dancing all around Sweden and Finland. Wow. Weather changes, Earth changes. Long range forecast, watch for extreme weather to break out all through the Gulf states and central United States, Florida. Tropical system moving up the eastern or western seaboard of the United States, the East Pacific cyclone. And then we could see a super storm scenario in the long range forecast. This big high right here, polar high, is going to flip flop everything right now. And we're going to see some huge monstrous lows like this right here. And some interesting super typhoons in the long range forecast. Already have one right now. I think it's Koinu, Typhoon Koinu. Who is, yeah, just off the shore right now of southern Taiwan. And it's just going to move westward and towards the coastline into China. Or Thailand. Taiwan. No, it's China. <laughs> All right. A 
Australia, not much is changing right now, but you guys, as one of my subscribers here that's always in the live stream and always in the comment section, Paul, so much for reporting. Thank you so much for reporting. Yeah, you, massive flood alerts across New South Wales and Southern Australia right now. Low pressure system affecting you. I tried to make a live stream last night, but it didn't work. And uh, yeah, we're here now <laughs> giving a live update with daily events worldwide. And thank you so much for our, all watching. There's only 37 of you in here, but uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to have the full video uploaded as soon as this little stream is done, guys. And then we will continue on with your regular scheduled live stream. So long range forecast, still watching some pretty big systems here developing in the Northern Hemisphere. Wow. Earthquakes and weather are done. Let's get to our sun, folks, as we do have in this title, huge plasma filament stretching across the sun. And look at the size of this thing right here. And we've, we're getting a little glitch here in the last few images as something has happened here on the cresting images. Huge plasma tornadoes erecting from the surface right there, twisting and turning. Look at that. Heads up, everybody. Our sun is about to do something real nutty. I haven't seen a plasma filament like this in a long time. This is huge. You can see it looping right here. And then there's another one right here, and it forms two plasma tornadoes. Look at those things. Wow. Stay aware, prepared, everybody. Our sun goes through some big changes. You know our Earth's going to, and so is other every other planet in our solar system. So Solar Cycle 25 putting on quite a big show. No major solar flares thwarted our way. Coronal hole here in Developing in the southern hemisphere in the last few images here and another one equatorial looks like quite on the cresting limb so we're going to see some changes as we're heading into winter and get another look here at our sun look at the where we can get 304 angstroms here Huge plasma shot there. And then this is the plasma filament right here. And look at the prominence. Wow, guys. Wow, that is some amazing imagery. Stay tuned. I'm going to be giving you guys a full video update. We got to get a closer look at all this stuff going on right here. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are going to get a closer look here. Yeah, huge plasma shot there. My volume is way too low. Wow. All right, I'm just looking at the comments right now. Welcome, everybody. Hello, David Gurner. Hello, Janelle. Hello, Mango. Hello, Kathy N. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been a live update here with Daily Events Worldwide. And again, thank you so much for watching right now. Amazing images we're sharing here. Hello, Richard Smith. Welcome, buddy. Hello, Sheila Foster. Night, night. Still got to give a quick space weather update here. Sorry, guys. This live update is uh, is a little bit different. But this is pretty much what I what I do all day when I'm watching what's going on with our planet and our solar system. Look at that. Amazing images here. Stay tuned. We're going to make a quick video tonight. Some closer imagery of our sun right now because it is going crazy. Look at that. 
All right, let's have a look at our magnetosphere right now. This is the last six hours of mag of our solar winds showing the pressure planes and our solar winds are coming in at 423 kilometers per second. No major pulses to observe here. And then looking at space prediction spiral by annual Large CME taking off towards the Soyo, Soyo satellite and as well giving Mars a space weather event. Nothing major or new coming our way. Solar X-ray flux in a C range. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated tonight up into a KP3. That was probably these long pulsed C class solar flares. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. This has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, sharing a space weather events, earthquakes, volcanoes. and space weather, world weather, keeping humanity aware and prepared. And do what you got to do, D-E-W, do it. Just hanging out here with you guys. Thank you so much. You guys have a good night. Stay aware, prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now.